Do you have a song or song idea that needs an injection of soul? Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to go over UBI's Soul Drums and we'll go over some really quirky things that this plugin can do and uh, we're going to play some presets on the e-drums and stick around because we're going to try to lay down a live drum track onto a punk song all using Soul Drums. So guys, this is one that I really wanted for a while uh, before I finally pulled the trigger and I actually found that what I got was not quite what I expected. And there is certainly a focus on the modern. There is less a focus on acoustic drum selection and a lot of focus on what you can do with the limited drum choices that they do give you. There are a ton of filters and envelopes and rack effects built into this plugin. So if you're into modern R&B, hip hop and the like, and you want an acoustic drum bass for your drum sounds, Soul Drums could fit the bill perfectly. And if you're into dry acoustic drum sounds for 70s type music, you'll find that here as well, but it seemed to me that the focus of the plugin feels more geared towards hip hop and the lo-fi crowd. MIDI mapping is pretty easy, it's just MIDI learn for most everything. Hi-hats by default, even when using the V-Drum preset, which was pretty unhelpful to be honest with you, I had to re-map everything anyway. It wasn't very helpful with the hi-hat in the sense that only open and close on the tip were available. So if you want to use the various degrees of openness that are available to you, you have to use a middleman program or a plugin uh, to make that happen. I do have a Reaper plugin that is based on a free script and I can upload that and link it on the channel somewhere if you guys are interested, let me know. Let's 
got a lot of built-in grooves. Let's play one now. You've got a lot of options for mixing and crafting sounds. Your general mixer page is right here. We've got ambience. You turn that off and you can tell a lot of the high end is missing. You can turn that back on. And uh, we've got mixer and off on settings here for everything. Here is your MIDI mapping and general settings. So you can go to the bass here. We, you see that we've got six different bass drums with different beaters and different settings there. Um, there are equalizers and velocity and compression and pitch change for everything, including most of the items do have digital rack effects available with a bunch of presets. And we've got two mics here for this particular bass. It could be a melding of two different samples, I'm not exactly sure. Overdrive, available for everything. Snare, we've got four different snares, including three different variations on the first one. And of course, compression, equalizer, overdrive, digital effects, mixers for everything here. It's got a great bleed matrix. Hi-hat. Only one hi-hat to choose from, but you do get options galore for this. Again, attack, hold, decay, drive, mic options, compression, everything. Toms, we've got two floor toms with three variations each. Same with mid and same with high. Same other, same options as before. Overdrive, you got some drive in here, you got some high pass filters, low pass filters. Cymbals, uh, two crashes, one ride. Percussion, claps, tambourine, and sticks. That's the only, that's the only percussion they offer. And ambience gives you options galore for crafting different types of sound. Lots of different options in here. Like I say, rack effects everywhere, delays, reverbs. If you like to mix in the box, this could definitely fit the bill for you as well. And on the effects page here, we've got a bus compressor, equalizer, tape delay, IR reverb, and spark verb. Bunch of, a bunch of presets for the reverb as well. And this, this plugin is a bit of a resource hog. So thankfully they do offer a light version, which uses less resources, has only open and close on a hi-hat. But if you're playing on a kit with no plugin to allow the variances between the openness levels, that may be fine for you. There is a whole section for brushes, which I will play a sample of right now. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please consider giving me a subscribe. And that really helps me out. It lets me know if a particular video is helpful. And I really appreciate it.